what is up guys today we're installing the z1 motorsport polyurethane transmission mount on my full bolt on g37 so to uh start well first of all thank you guys for subscribing to my channel watching my videos i really appreciate that um this i know y'all in the comments have been waiting on this video i'm about to show you how to properly install this thing on your car so first what you want to do is raise the car on both ends put a jack stand on the body rail or the frame rail on each side and then hit your jack and you want to use a piece of wood and i know it's not too online but it's, a, it's good uh on the very end of the transmission pan uh apply barely any pressure don't even try to jack it up that is good right there so second what you want to do get a 14 millimeter socket take these bolts off first and there and then you got you got to get a, a deep 14 millimeter socket and take these ones off as well i'm about to show you right now okay so first i want to go ahead and uh, take these 14 millimeter bolts off Transmission's on the jack now. So look at here. I went ahead and got a half inch for this nut right here that I already showed you. I already showed you, I'm not gonna show you again. It's on the stud. Oops. Oh, I had a feeling. This comes off and you're gonna expose the actual mount itself another 14 millimeter right here right there and a 14 millimeter right there and the mount comes out right there this is the old one I'll show you how loose and much play but i don't know if there's any play see that now let me bring the z1 motorsport one so it goes like this and the z1 motorsport one goes in the same exact way you want to pay attention to which bolts came out of there. It's these two shiny aluminum ones. The other ones are a little bit, uh, will not be as shiny as them because they're not sealed. Put in, put in with your hand first. Let's see if mine wants to go in first. All right, here we go. Put the other one in. go ahead and tell you guys what the torque spec on this is so the torque spec on these right here these bolts right there that one and that one is 36 foot pounds and it's almost well it is 36 foot pounds on everything because they're all 14 millimeter so i'm gonna go ahead and torque it all right so i was able to get an extension Right here, 36 foot pounds for both bolts. I already tied, I already torqued this one. See, you hear that? That's it. 
I already, I already did this one. I don't know if I want to do it again. I already did it. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, second step is to put this cross member like this back. Make sure the studs on the transmission mount. Oops. Sorry, guys. Let me check something. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's how I remember it being. So, so it was. I don't know why it's not aligning too good, but in the manual, they it says to barely put in the bolts. First. And that transmission mount moves though, that's crazy. So they do go in though. Make sure you don't put these bolts at an angle. It's so easy to mess them up. I hope I don't mess any of them up to be honest. Put those. That right there. You guys still see? Yup. Now, before you tie the bolts that hold the cross member to the chassis, you gotta put these nuts on this stu these studs right there. Yep. Those are also 36 foot pounds. Put the other nut right here. Right there. And you want to, don't go crazy. Just use something like this with your hand. And just till it barely touches. on it don't go hard hand tighten literally hand tighten mm -hmm. you want to hand tighten those as well this feels like it's going in wrong but I know it's not. Let me get it. Get this thing. Let me use my ratchet just so I would feel if it's going in wrong or not. Oops. Yeah, it's going in right. Just has a little friction. It's a little tedious, but I would rather show you the whole process. Try to align them a little bit with their holes. I'm gonna use my impact for this.
I'll make sure those are tight as well. Don't torque them yet. Tighten them with the ratchet first. Snug. Now you want to get your torque wrench. Oops. And then you want to torque those first. Thirty six. No more than that. Cross pattern, as you know. Wonderful. See that? And then now, drop the jack. Booyah, you're done. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a drive and I'll let you guys know how it drives. Just show you before I go. Tell me that's not sick, man. Look at that. See, nice and flush. Yep, let me take it for a drive and I will be right back. I'm not gonna lie, guys, there's a lot of well, not a lot. There's you can feel the vibration a lot more on higher RPMs, but when you're shifting, it doesn't jerk or anything. It's just solid. So responsive, man. You should. You guys should get that. Yeah. Now this is pretty nice, man. I should have installed this mount a long time ago. Way more responsive. Yep. See you guys later. <laughs>